Hey besties, what did I say? I told you I would be back. I thought it would be fun to film a little get ready for the new year with me and just kind of like getting my life back together before the new year. So I thought today would be a good day to get my you know what together. I have a lot that I need to do and I made a to-do list last night to kind of try to hold myself accountable. So let me show you that right now. So this is the current to-do list right now. So the things that I must do, I must call the district office, pack for snow milling tomorrow, which is just like getting my like clothes together ready for it, wash dishes plus wash my Brita. I should go to the gym. Let me tell you right now, that's probably not going to happen um, just because it's already noon and I, I woke up at like 8.30 but I was so tired so I decided to listen to my body and I went back to sleep. Um, do laundry, take out the trash, including my old laundry basket, clean off, organize my dining room table, meal plan for next week, grocery shopping for those meals, um, cleaning out my fridge and pantries, that, oh, those, that's what I should do, could do, I could deep clean the bathroom, deep clean kitchen, reorganize bookshelf, but those are the kind of things where if I, like, I do them on Friday and said that's fine, and then if I have time, put away my Christmas decor and clean out my car, but I did already call the district office today, I don't know if I could <laughs> really cross it off my list because it wasn't successful, but I did do it. I know there's a thing right there for me to like block it out, but that's not how I do things. I don't like that line. Wee, That's better. Um, let me explain. As you may or may not know, I'm a long-term sub currently until January 18th. And I also student taught in the same district. So they made me an email and a Google account. Well, <laughs> I went to log into it the other day because I got a new phone. So I had to re-log into everything. And I went to log in and they said that my account was disabled. And I was like, huh, that's weird. My first thought was, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to order my coffee anymore. But, and then I, and then I was like, wait, that's kind of bad. And then I was like, I'm not gonna be able to email anyone. But then the most important part hit me. If I don't have the Gmail account, I can't log into my Google Drive. What's in that Google Drive, you might ask? Literally everything I need for the rest of this thing. My whole week for next week is already planned out because I planned it out before I went on break so that I could have a relaxing break and not have to go into the school. And now it's just going to be gone. What? So anyway, so I can't get into my Google Drive with all my stuff. And not only like my slides for next week, like I can redo those even though I should not have to. I already do so much work for this that I shouldn't be doing, but I shouldn't have to redo that, but that's one thing. But so many things that it's taken me months to get access to down the drain. It's like, it makes me not wanna go back <laughs> if I can't get it back. Anyway, so I called the district office because I, well, I emailed this lady in HR who's been so helpful to me throughout every single thing that I've ever needed to like talk to since I've been student teaching and everything. Um, but she, rightfully so, is on winter break. And so she won't see that email until Tuesday morning when it will be too late, possibly. So I called the district office because they say that they're open and there's like no way to talk to a real person. There's just every single department. And I listened to the first thing and then I like went into the next thing of departments. Um, I got tech, which is what I figured I need, but there was nothing at the end like, oh, to speak to like a real person. So I had to call tech, but they weren't there. I'm hoping he's just maybe on his lunch or something. Because it says the district office is open. So I'm like, who's open? But the HR lady isn't there. So why would he be there? I don't know. I'm panicking because I need that stuff. Anyway, so I left a whole long message. And you could hear me starting to choke up a little bit. Because I'm nervous. Like, that is my important stuff that I need. And they just disabled the account. Like, so hopefully that all works out. God, I'm freaking out. But... Uh, either way, I called them. I did do that. Okay, so I know it was pretty low on the list of priority organizing my bookshelf, but in order to clean up the table, which is higher on the list, I do technically need to get the books off the table. So we might as well start there. Okay, so this is what my bookshelf looks like right now. If you can see the title on the spine, then that means that I've already read it. If you just see the pages, then that means I haven't read it yet. And then these are the books that need to be added to there. Okay, 
all the books are organized now. They look really nice. It is full though. So once I finish the book I'm reading right now, I don't know where that's going to go. But we will cross that bridge when we get there. Now I can move on. I think I'm going to go fill up the sink and have the dishes start soaking. <laughs> Still an accomplishment. Uh, reorganized the bookshelf. So we have left to do. <laughs> I think I might get dressed and then start my laundry. Look at my new laundry basket in action. So cute. I'm gonna unhook it so we can take it to the laundry room. I don't use Tide Pods anymore because the like washer wouldn't get hot enough to melt them all the way so then they'd like ruin my clothes. So I'm back to using liquid detergent and I don't want to bring the whole thing with me. So I'm just gonna put it, some in this little cup and then I can. <laughs> wash the cup in the washer afterwards, so it's perfect. Laundry's going. I will be back to pick it up in 30 minutes. So right now I'm just gonna make up, think of some ideas for things that I can eat. Basically, here's what it's gonna look like. I go back to school on Tuesday, so I'm planning from like Sunday through the following Saturday. For the rest of the week, I'm just gonna get kind of like random stuff that I can eat, like frozen stuff, and then I'll start making more food, food, food throughout the week. But for the rest of the new year, I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear, and then I'm gonna go to my parents on New Year. So it's just like kind of planning for next week. And just getting like filler items for the rest of this week. So once I'm done with that, I will show you. I've made my meal plan for the week. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this grocery sheet. My meals and other things I might need. Like I need a new Brita filter. Things like that. Um, So I'm going to fill that out now. And yeah. I think I've marked everything I need. I'm going to transfer this list to my phone. Because having this in the store with my pen is just more trouble than it's worth. And now I'm going to go get my laundry. That is almost done. Also, you guys, I am so excited to go out later because look, the sun is out. So I have about 50 minutes until my laundry is done drying. Also, I didn't have anything that I had to hang up. Best day ever. My plan is I want to be ready to walk out the door literally right after I get my clothes. So I think I'm going to... I definitely need to get ready in the next 50 minutes, but I think I'm going to tackle the dishes. <laughs> because I really don't care. Laundry is back in the house and now we're gonna go to River Canyon and we're gonna go to Fred Meyer, so let's go. Hey besties, I just got my drink, um, peach, no, raspberry mango Red Bull to die for, um, but I'm trapped in because their like delivery truck is here and the person in front of me hasn't left yet, so I'm trapped. But I think they're about to go. That car, after they got those three fraps and I was like, yeah, we're about to leave. Four more drinks they got. They got a total of seven drinks. It's like, damn. Drink. Almost gone. I was watching my friend Ellie's snap videos that she sent me. We've been talking about books and all that fun stuff. Um, so I watched those. And now I'm finishing my breakfast sandwich before I go inside. Because I don't want to be shopping on an empty stomach. About to go inside. Get my shopping done. And yeah, I was gonna do a pickup order, but it's just so nice. I just wanted to get out and like be out with other people. So that's my update. I'm gonna finish my sandwich, probably maybe watch a few TikToks while I do, and then I'm gonna head inside. So I will update you guys later. I'm done grocery shopping. All my stuff's loaded up and I'm in the car. If you know me, I hate Fred Meyer 
self-checkout. Hello, ma'am. I hate Fred Meyer self-checkout with everything in me. And if you have a Fred Meyer, you know. If you have a Kroger of any sort, you know it sucks. But I was successful. I got everything I needed. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a grocery haul when I get home. Um, it's still really nice out. Ooh, Tesla. And the sun's not supposed to set until like 4.18. It's, only, it's 9, 4 o'clock yet. So I'm going to drive around a little bit just to enjoy the like brightness. I'm hoping it'll be like this when we're still wheeling tomorrow. That'd be really nice. Besties, I'm on my drive. Just look how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Hey besties, so I am officially home. I got all my groceries in. I'm gonna do a little haul, like buy bag when I go to put it away. So we've got some of these toaster scramble pastries and chicken nuggets. The best chicken nuggets ever. They're from Fred Meyer. We've got some block cheddar cheese. Sorry, the lighting's not that great. Sour cream. Turkey for my sandwiches and wraps. And then ground beef. Bow tie pasta. Ranch, all out of ranch. Mayo, almost all out of mayo. Ketchup. Have recently become a bit of a ketchup girly and have not bought ketchup since I've lived here. In fact, I have not bought ketchup for myself ever, probably. I only had ketchup in Ellensburg because I bought it for Campbell and Kennedy when they would come over. They liked ketchup, but I did not really like it. But now I'm more into ketchup, so ketchup. Since I couldn't go get my pesto aioli, I got this garlic aioli, so I'm excited to try that. Artichoke hearts. My mom and I were talking about these the other day, so when I stumbled upon them, I was like, that's a sign. Love artichoke hearts. Um, Alfredo sauce, roasted garlic. I like garlic, if you couldn't tell. And then two Arctic white Alani's. I just got two because it was two for five, but one of them is going to be for me to take with me in the morning when I go snowmobiling because I won't have any other time to get like a drink tomorrow. So I'm just going to bring my own caffeine. Apples. This is funny because I was just talking to my mom about how I don't really like bananas and would probably never buy them again for myself. These bags are just ripping. That's fine. But I bought two bananas because I was looking up like quick and easy snacks and I saw this thing that had bananas and I thought it sounded good. Bananas and then tomato for my tomato toast, of course. Then spicy grilled salmon roll. So good. So good. And then these, I think they'll be good. They're California wraps. So they're like California rolls, but they're like wrapped instead with like, I don't know, is it called rice paper? I, I think that's a thing, but I don't know if that's what this is wrapped in. But anyways, I might do a taste test. And then baby spinach for, I'm gonna make eggs and I love to put spinach in my eggs. So, you know what, let's try one right now. Cause I'm actually kind of hungry. Trying a California wrap. Cause I love California rolls. So it's all the same stuff. It's just a wrap instead of a roll. So, cheers. Mm. Yeah. It's actually really good. Now we have to have a spicy grilled salmon roll. We have to. Cheers. Makes me feel like I'm an Ichiban. Paper towels, Brita filter that I needed. Some cracker snack pack. Mac and cheese cups. Mashed potato cups. I lived off these in college in my dorm room. Also got really sad driving home thinking about my dorm room and how I had to just move out and it would never be the same and that really depressed me in the car so hot dogs and some sliced swiss cheese tortillas Ooh, mini slider buns because i'm gonna make like mini burgers because i got ground beef hot dog buns regular bread i was gonna just make bread and get the stuff to make bread but it was telling me it was like i went to read it and it was like read these thoroughly clean everything thoroughly and I was like I don't have time to deal with that today so I'm just getting regular bread and then good old eggs what I'm gonna do now is 
put all of this away and I'm gonna clean out my fridge and my pantries, pantries a little bit if something expired. It's going away because I want to take out all my garbage and I need to empty out my laundry basket because my old laundry basket is going in the garbage because it's broken. But I used it to go get my clothes because I accidentally already hooked the other one on. So I'm gonna pour that out, the clothes over the floor so I have to do them tonight. I have my Brita filling up because you're supposed to like empty it out like twice after you put in the new filter because of the carbon flakes or whatever. So I have that filling up. Um, I cleaned out my fridge. I have, oh, <laughs> that's my clothes over there. Cause that, gar that laundry basket right here is going in the trash. That's my old one that has all the handles that are ripped. So I emptied that and I'm putting trash in it to help me carry the trash. So my clothes are laying on, there on the floor. So I have to deal with them. My garbage bags are full. I'm ready to take them out. I'm just kind of stalling. The trash has been taken out. All good. I thought now would be a good time to revisit the list and cross off what we've done. So let's do that. I washed dishes and my Brita. I did my laundry. Well, I'm not going to cross it out until I put it all away. Took out the trash. Meal planned for next week. Went grocery shopping. Plus cleaned out the fridge and pantries. Not yet. Not yet. That stuff will probably be Friday. This I'm still going to do. This is not happening today. So Friday. This I'm going to finish tonight. This I'm also going to finish tonight. So not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm going to do the laundry right now and watch some YouTube probably while I do. Also, I filled up my Stanley for the very first time. And I love it. <sighs> Best thing ever. So I actually lied. I will not be watching YouTube because I remembered. I remembered that the new episodes of The Circle came out today. I love The Circle. Gonna watch that while I fold the clothes. I'm so excited. All done. Now I just gotta put it all away. All right, besties. So I put all my laundry away and, and now I'm eating dinner and watching The Circle. So I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. After this, I'm just gonna read and shower. I'll probably see you on Friday for the rest of the video. So see you then. Hey, besties. It is now Friday. I am continuing the things that I have to do on my to-do list and I have a few things to add. I need to go get a library card today and I need to go get a gift. Our Stoneville Club, um usually does a holiday party with a gift exchange, but we like didn't do it this year. So we're doing it in January. <laughs> so I need to go get the gift for that. And I need to go get a library card. I'll give you more details on that stuff later. Um, but I'm going to finish getting my life together and like cleaning off my table and the stuff I need to do. So let's get to it because it's already after 1 PM. So let's get this show on the road. Okay, <laughs> besties. I'm all ready to go to the library. It dumped last night, dumped snow. So I do have to shovel some snow off my car, but nothing too crazy. A lot of it's already melted, which means I can wear my Crocs. So, oh my God, this lighting, I look so cute. Anyway, so let's get in the car to go to the library. And once we're in the car, I'll tell you why I'm going to get a library card. I'm in the car now. So the reason I'm getting a library card Okay, here's the deal. I probably have, I, I have a library card for sure, but I couldn't tell you where it is. I couldn't tell you anything about the account. I couldn't tell you anything. Like I definitely probably have a library card and I know my mom does and I know I've used my mom's recently. But anyway, so I'm just gonna go get my own or get a new one of the same account. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly, but I'm gonna go get a library card nonetheless. Um, the reason is Ellie and I were talking about books, of course, and she told me about this app called Libby and if you connect a library card you can get like all these like audiobooks like access to all these audiobooks like a like a library um and because I was talking about how like I get bored of like listening to music sometimes at the gym but I tried to listen to true crime and that didn't I like that was too much for me so she was like maybe you should try an audiobook because I've never really listened to an audiobook at least for like my own enjoyment for school I think I have but anyways so I want to try that, but I need a library card. So I'm either gonna get a new library card, get a new 
just card of the same account. I don't know. But I have my ID and I have my proof of, proof of residency. So I'm ready regardless. So after that, we're going to go to River Canyon. And then I have to go get that gift for the gift exchange. So we're going to go to Fred Meyer. And I think that might be it. I don't have to go too many places today, but I have a lot to do inside of my apartment. Anyways, the library is literally like two minutes, two minute drive. So here we go. I am at Fred Meyer. Um, I got my drink from Red, I was gonna say Red Lobster, from River Canyon. Um, I had such a successful time at the library. Yep. What's that? Library card? So I did already have one. So basically I just had... I just got my information updated because when I got the card, I was like a child. So my mom's information was on it. So now my email's on it, my phone number, my own password. So I'm all good to go. I've already set it up in the Libby app. I've already borrowed my first audio book. Oh my God. So I get all the stuff. The lady was so nice. So I, I, I'm all ready to go. And then I was like, oh, I'm just going to look around a little bit. So I did look at the romance section. Well, a fi the fiction section. I wasn't going to look around because I'm starting a book with Ellie. And then I'm reading another book on the side of that. And I still have a book going with Karina. So I was like, I don't need to check out any books right now. And like put that pressure on myself. But I thought I'd look. And so I added a ton of books to my Goodreads. Like want to read. Oh my gosh, I should link that in case... I don't have that many followers, but in case, or subscribers, but in case anyone wants to look at what I'm reading, um, I'm going to put that down below in the description if you want to check that out. I already borrowed an audiobook, which is one of the books that I saw that I wanted to read. It's uh, The Love Life of Missy something. I already forgot the name, but um, I just can't, it hasn't downloaded yet because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. So great experience. So many good books. And I saw, uh, the. I wasn't even going to look that closely, but this one cover caught my eye because I'm a cover girl. I I don't buy based on covers, but I look at what it's about based on the cover. If the cover's not interesting, I will not look at it. Might be a bad way to go about it, but that's just how it is. So I saw this cover and I was like, oh my God, like that looks interesting. So then I got closer and I read the author's name and I was like, oh, that sounds really familiar. And then underneath it said, like also wrote, and it wrote, it's the author that wrote The Last Chance Library. I just recently read The Last Chance Library. It was my second attempt at reading it. And I fell in love with it. And it was so good. So that just got me so excited. So then I was like, I have to keep looking. So many good books. I am guilty of thinking that the libraries don't have updated books that I'd be interested in. I'm so wrong. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. So I'm so excited. I've decided that once I like finish the book I'm reading with Karina and Ellie and or the book the other little book I'm gonna read that I'll let myself check out one book at a time and read it and then you know I can't get too crazy I'm so excited it was so fun I was like I could just spend all my time in this library like I looked at so many good books oh my god every here's my thing covers rarely do me wrong every time I pick up a cover I want to read it there were only I think I added like seven books probably to my want to read and looked at like nine covers only two of them did I like the cover and then not not interested about the book so it works for me most of the time. I think having this reading, like I was reading bef like before break, but I'm so much more into it now that I think that it's going to be such a good outlet for me and just for life forever. Like I, I was meant to be a reader. I was meant for this. Like I can just feel it. But I think that especially with these last like 11 days that I have this long-term supposition, reading is literally going to save me because I, it's going to give me something to look forward to. It's just really rough. And oh my god, I got my account back. I did not have to go to the district office. That's what I was going to tell you. I was going to go to the district office today and be like, hey, please, I need this. And then I thought, well, and I talked to my dad about it yesterday. I was like, what if they gave me my account back and they just didn't say anything? They just didn't communicate it. So I thought, let me try to log in one more time before I go down there and try to talk to somebody. Guess what? I logged right in to my Gmail and to my Google Drive. Everything's there. So that is really good though that gives me something to relax about i need to go inside and get the gift that i need to get i need to clean out my car because there's literally no more room all my cup holders are full and then some of literally empty drinks that's embarrassing we were successful got the gift my dad and i were struggling to come up with something so i was like well, what did you get last time because i did not remember he said he got like one of those wax melter things i don't know if you got like a plug-in one or a standalone one but I got a standalone one because I thought it looked really cool. This is by the same brand, mine's from Oak and Rye. And I just thought this one was really cool. 
very neutral cute right and then to go along with it four different wax melts because they're on sale and it was supposed to be like 25 and under got cabin fever and this is a group of snowmobilers so i thought that was perfect but i was like there's mostly men but i also was like what if a woman gets it i just wanted them the flavors to be something everybody could probably enjoy sandalwood vanilla lavender and chamomile who doesn't like good lavender and lemongrass and peppermint. Besties, I have been sitting here for so long and not being productive. I need to get up and be productive. So I'm tackling the kitchen counter or the dining room table. That is what I'm cleaning up next. I'm gonna put on some music and get to work. the table cleaned up to what it needs to be that stuff over there are gifts that I'm still dealing with pants that I'm still deciding if I want to return or not my water bottle that I'm going to be taking to school my led lights that I want to put up in my camera that, or my tripod that I was just using so we can now cross the table off the list as I was putting stuff away around my apartment I saw little things that I needed to deal with so I'm going to deal with those little things right now and then I'll check back in in a little bit I feel like it's a good time to revisit our list. So, I did pack for snowmilling, considering I went snowmilling yesterday. I, okay, I didn't go to the gym, but I'm not going to today, so we're just crossing that off. Did the laundry, cleaned in, cleaned off and organized the dining room, oh, no, cleaned off and organized the dining room table. So, the only things I have left are to deep clean bathroom and kitchen, so I'm going to wipe down the surfaces. I'll do that later, um, and I'm probably not going to show you because it will be kind of boring, but put away Christmas decor. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to time lapse me putting away Christmas decor, and then I'm going to go out to my car and clean that out. So, let's, let's put away our Christmas decor. <laughs> really fast and easy on your end but <sighs> dang that was a lot of work so as much as I don't want to admit that I had eight cups in my car from past drinks all which were mine might I add but I'm just being real so it happens they're all out now I have also filled up the sink again to wash some more dishes refilling my Brita making ice cubes so let's revisit our list all right, besties, look at us. We have officially put away Christmas decor and cleaned out the car. I also threw away my other garbage. The only things I have left are to deep clean the bathroom and deep clean the kitchen. But at this point, all that really means is wiping down the surfaces. So I have less than an hour before I'm picking up Karina for dinner. So that's not going to happen right now. I'm going to relax a little bit and either edit this vlog or read a book. So giving us a check for now. I definitely feel a lot more decluttered, cleaned, organized, and ready for the new year and all the exciting stuff that it is going to bring. For now, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it good. I think we had a very successful, productive two days. Got a lot of stuff done, basically everything on my list. I'm gonna wipe down the surfaces, but I just, I don't feel like you guys are itching to watch that. I cannot wait for you guys to see this video. I pretty sure it's going to be up before the new year if not on like january 1st so i will see you guys very soon i promise the update video will be coming that will definitely be next for sure and thank you guys for sticking along i know this was a bit of a longer video but i hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to like and subscribe tell your friends whatever you want to do and i would love to see you next time so i'll talk to you guys later bye